What's up guys, welcome to another episode of The Healthy Bartender. So this week I had a poll on Facebook, Instagram. Oh yeah, my little assistant here. Um, <laughs> so I had a poll on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Subsidage, which is like a maple uh, whiskey versus uh, a gin, which I selected top shelf gin. Um, so the final votes from uh, the two kind of platforms were 121 for Sortilage and 196 for the gin. So I'm going to show you a gin recipe. I'll show a Sortilage recipe later on as well, but I'm gonna do a gin recipe right now. So anyways, I got what I got. What I'm gonna need today is some gin. So a couple of different variations because I know not everybody has specific things at home. So we're gonna do it with 7-Up and some uh, lemon juice. Me personally, uh, I prefer this right here is a bar mix, simple syrup with some lemon juice, lime juice. I actually just made it here. Super easy recipe. I'll post that recipe uh, sometime this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some gin or I'm going to need some, sorry, I'm going to need some strawberries as well. So I'm going to take a couple strawberries and just put them in my glass, make it look fancy here. Uh, if you know, I'm not big on the garnishes. I'm not a big fruit guy either, so I guess that kind of doesn't help that I don't like garnishes that much. Um, so I'm going to take some of these strawberries, I'm going to stick them at the bottom of a shaker cup. You can do it at home in a glass. Uh, I'm going to take my muddler, uh, get your mind out of the gutter. It's an actual uh, tool, bartending tool. So from there I'm going to need some lime juice, about half an ounce. and. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's it. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna squish it. It's because there's another variation with uh, basil, uh, basil leaves. I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, so I had to kind of like improvise. So I ended up finding something else that kind of tastes pretty decently good here. So I'm gonna take that. So what I did is I crushed the bottom of, the bottom of my strawberries here. It kind of made a strawberry juice mixed with the lemon. I'm going to take my gin, I'm going to take two ounces of gin. Two ounces of gin. While I'm doing this, I just want to thank everybody at home again for everything. You know, I appreciate the support and everything else. Uh, especially this amount of votes, it's crazy. Uh, okay, so this here, it's my bar mix, nice and sweet. If you don't have this, you can take some lemon juice. I'm gonna go announce this stuff here. Put that in there. We're gonna add some ice to it. I'm gonna shake it up. Let's shake it up. So from here again, this is all to taste. You wanna shake it, if you have a shaker at home where it gets frosted like this on the outside. Um, if, you, if you're at home, oh yeah, um, I prefer 7-Up, some people I have like a sweet tooth, some people prefer uh, tonic water, stuff like this, either one of them is going to be good in this. I'm going to take this, pour it out, so you could drink this like that if you wish, or you can add some 7-Up. I don't have very much room left in this cup, but I'm actually going to try it both ways. So this, this is one of those sippers, you can just kind of sit back, you know, something you want to like uh, appreciate the aromas and stuff. This bad boy right here, that's going to be good. I'm actually going to leave it like this. You can add 7-Up in, which will make it sweeter. Uh, but this, if you like gin, this is, uh, this is delicious. So again, some gin, two ounces of gin. I use my bar mix here. You don't need to use the bar mix. You can use lemon juice. The bar mix, I'll post a recipe. I'll actually, I'll cook some more up tomorrow and I'll post a recipe. Um, and then some seven up. I muddle some strawberries at the bottom, shake it up good, put it down in the glass and that's it. That's all. I'm not even sure what to call this. So if you could find a name for me, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, guys, drink responsibly.